uh, in comparison with the prior year, we have a 5% increase in revenue, which given the volume impact, we're, we're pretty comfortable with. We think it was a good performance on a revenue basis. It could have been better if the volumes uh, come back a little bit, but 5%, uh, um, given where we are, we, we think is a, a reasonable result. If you look at our cost inflation, our cost inflation is around 8, 8.5%. So that's the impact. The 5% is the impact of volume erosion. EBITDA has gone up 10% though, and, and that really links into uh, what Brett said earlier on, which is the fact that we've separated the business into business lines, what we call integrated business lines. We've given people clear accountability for top line and for all the costs down to bottom line, and also the investment into capital to make sure that we get productivity up. And that's actually created a step change in the business from a perspective, not of the volume, unfortunately, but in terms of the productivity and the cost base. And that's driven the 10% increase in, in, in EBITDA. Going down the line, 18% increase in earnings per share. Uh, a little bit of that fact is that this year we required no impairments, and there was 31 million rand of impairments last year, but still a good growth in earnings per share, and that differential is reflected in the headline earnings per share. And then our gearing, despite the 500 million odd that we spent on capital, has improved. Again, showing that we've generated a fair amount of cash in the current year.